Welcome back everyone and for this video I'm very excited to be opening this Figure Arts Zero Jujutsu Kaisen Nobara Kukisaki figurine. I've been eyeing this figure for so long and I ended up putting it on my wish list um, and one of my friends actually got it for me so I'm really happy to finally own this figure. It's not you know too badly priced I just wasn't willing because so very few people have posted pictures and reviews of this figure online. Um, and I very much would prefer to see like a full detailed review before I purchase a figure that I'm not sure about. Um, the main reason being um, is her face. It looks really wacky when I'm looking at it from this angle. But so long as she looks okay yeah, from a different angle, I'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, that was one of the main reasons I ended up not purchasing her myself. Because again, she's not that badly priced. I think she's like $60 to $80 depending on where you shop. This may not include shipping. But considering she is a scale figure, I'm pretty sure. Um, and she looks well detailed and painted. I was genuinely surprised by her price tag. It could also just be that she's not very popular. Um, a lot of people, I can't believe a lot of people don't really care for Nobara. Um, I understand with Jujutsu Kaisen having such a stacked cast of male characters, but like I found Nobara to be so entertaining and I love Maki. And it's a real shame that they're not getting the amount of figures that they deserve. Maki especially, especially considering what happens in the anim uh, in the manga and will be happening in the anime when that third season releases. But yeah, I, I love Nobara and I wish she deserved better, let's just say that. <laughs> so yeah, the box, you can see all the pictures in the box. It does have viewing windows in the front and the sides, which I, I think are really cute. It has the, the rose with her nails. And I misplaced my little rotating platform so I won't be able to do like a 360 view. So this is going to be a very impromptu figure review for me. Um, I'll still take close-up shots, but I probably won't do a voiceover. I'll give all of my thoughts here and now. Because once you've reviewed one figurine, you've pretty much reviewed them all. All that really varies uh, with them is, like, the tech, uh, not the texture, but the, the detail in the paint job. And how neat the seam lines are in the, sculpt in the sculpting. Oh, I'm giving y'all a panty shot right away. <laughs> uh, but there you go. She does not have painted underwear. It's just like a seam line there at the bottom, <laughs> which looks a little precarious. Um, oh my gosh, though. She is so cool. She does have this extra plastic piece to keep, it, ah, to keep all the plastic bits from morphing in, in the packaging. Wow, though. So she is one piece. You don't have to assemble or anything. She would look amazing with some LEDs, I think. I do think with her hand being closed here, it would look cool if she was holding a nail. So I won't lie, she does look a little silly from the side, um, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Her side profile is amazing. And then she has a lot of detail in her clothing. Like, the shading is top-notch. And I can kind of see where some of the complaints were as far as the sculpting is. Um, it's not bad or anything, but you can definitely tell, you know, it's on the lower quality uh, compared to some other scale figures. Um, it's a little rough in the edges, but nothing, like, major that would really affect my point of view on it, to be quite honest. And one thing I'm noticing that I really like is... It seems they spray painted this black, or they may have done the base in the blue and then spray painted the shadowing with black or a darker color. So the lighter blue under it really pops. I wonder if you can see that. But yeah, here you can see like a seam line. And this part is a little rough. So this isn't, this isn't, you know, the highest quality scale figure, but considering what you're paying, I don't think this is considered a prize figure either. This is really good. And the fire 
of where her needles are going. Or, not, I'm sorry, <laughs> I call it a fire because it looks like fire. But this is this would be her cursed energy. I love the black outline. Now, again, here's some seam lines that you can see. Some rough edges in the paintwork. But overall, it is transparent slightly. And I've seen some pictures where people have put LEDs under her. And it looks amazing. Like this portion, you can kind of see where they had to assemble it. Like the peg, this is its own portion and there's a seam line. Um, so you can see it through the transparent plastic, but it still looks really cool. Let's move on to this side. So the nails themselves look so realistic. Um, I'm assuming because they are just nails, I mean... You can't really go wrong. They feel pretty sturdy in there, but I'm not going to poke them too hard. Um, again, we have some rough edges in the paintwork of this, but to, again, to me, that just adds to the Jujutsu Kaisen style, especially for season one, where they kind of allowed some edges to be rough, particularly with their cursed energy. Moving on. Again, the transparent plastic. I don't, uh, other than this part, I don't see, oh, in this part too, this has a seam line. Let's see. Still really cool though. This is coming off a little dark because I turned off, down the ISO on my camera. Um, but in person, this, this blue is vibrant. Let's move on to the tree. Um, in person, it's a lot more muted than I think it's coming off in the camera, so it's not this obnoxious cartoony coloring. It's very much natural looking, if a little bit flat. Um, there is some shading that you can see, but it's not like too in-depth, so it does come off a little bit flat, but still decent. It doesn't clash with Novara shading or the Cursed Energy, I think. It pretty much fits well. In general, one of the reasons I really wanted this figure is because she had a unique base. It's not the flat, simple black bases that you often see, especially with the lower quality figures. I loved that they got a little bit creative um, and gave her a lot of dimension. She's not just standing like a lot of her figures are. She's in action. She's fighting. And um, I think there's there they made the other main characters in this series, and they're able to match with her, I think. I could be wrong and misremembering, but um, I think they're, the others in the series are able to match with this tree and everything, so it would make a really cool scene. It's kind of like those um, Attack on Titan figures that had some bits of the environment with them, so when you put them together, it looked really cool. But yeah, other than the, you know, some of the seam lines are a little rough and some of the paint brush strokes are a little rough. Um, but other than that, I think she's really cool. If you were someone that is handy and does garage kits, I definitely think just a little more of the paint would add a lot and kind of perfect her. Um, but if you're just someone who's looking for a really cool Nobara figure, I definitely think she's worth it. Maybe find her on sale because, again, I don't think she was that popular. So you could probably definitely find her for a good sale. Here again, we have some of the seam lines and you can see uh, where the paint cuts off because they didn't paint this when she was together. They painted each part individually. Her shoes are really nicely detailed though. And again, even though the paint job is a little rough and you know, uh, the seams are there, her sculpt is great. I love her hair. There's a there's another Nobara figure that I was really eyeing that has not released yet. And she was absolutely perfect except for her face. And her hair looked a little weird too. Um, but you can see on my figure collection, everyone absolutely hated her face and her hair. And this is how you do it, y'all. Her hair is great. Look at that. It's enough detail without being a little too too realistic to make it look weird. But yeah, um, I'll do some close-up shots, but that's pretty much all I have to say about her. I love her. I've been wanting a Nobara figure for the longest time, um, and a lot of the ones being released just weren't up to par or made her look funny. 
she really is not getting the best treatment from figure companies or her author to be quite honest but i love her and i definitely want to add her to my collection so i'm very happy to have this super grateful to my friend for getting it for me um, and i hope you guys enjoyed this review thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video